it is a style that has been around for a while, but I had never found a designer or colorway that would have persuaded me to drop $6,000 on one of these bags until I saw this. Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. I haven't done an unboxing video on my channel in quite a while. I think the last one that I did was about three months ago, so it's definitely been a while. So I'm very excited to share with you guys a new piece that I'm adding to my collection. And what makes this even more special is that I picked this out in one of my previous videos that I'm going to link up here. And if you watched that previous Louis Vuitton video of mine, then please let me know in the comment section down below which piece do you think I picked up from the bunch that I showed you. And without further ado, let's get into unboxing. It just occurred to me that you probably already saw the name of the bag in the title. But anyway, please let me know if you would have been able to guess that this is going to be the first piece that I pick up from everything that I showed you. And now let's jump into unboxing. So the piece that I picked up from Louis Vuitton came in this box and it actually was shipped to me so I didn't even have to leave my apartment. And it got here towards the end of last week and it's been sitting in my entryway ever since. But I thought that today is the perfect day to unbox this. So let's dig into it. If you have never purchased a piece from Louis Vuitton, then they usually come in these standard boxes. Obviously the size depends on the piece that you pick up, but they're actually really good quality and they are magnetic. So you can keep them around in case you obviously want to store your bag in there. Or if you are constantly using your bag, perhaps you can use this for storing makeup or skincare, but they're actually really sturdy. So if you open it up, it's magnetic and they open up like this. And then on the inside, you have the bag in its own dust bag. So. Let's have a look. I have actually never seen this bag in person. I only ever saw it online. So I'm very excited to see this for the very first time with you guys. It is a style that has been around for a while, but I had never found a designer or colorway that would have persuaded me to drop $6,000 on one of these bags until I saw this, because I truly felt that it was something very special and it was just really me. So let's reveal the newest part of my handbag family, which is the Petite Ma in the new spring summer 2020 so black version. So Louis Vuitton came out with two new versions of their iconic Petite Ma bag for this season in black on black and white on white. And I actually showed you guys both of them in my Louis Vuitton shopping video. And I was really torn whether I should go for the white one or the black one, but this one's just really spoke to me and I simply couldn't leave it there because if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know how much I love black bags. So this I found was just a really me bag and I'm really glad that I was able to add this to my collection. And looking at this in person, it's even more beautiful. It just looks very well put together. It's very weighty. So if you like trunks and the Louis Vuitton trunks in particular, then I think you would really enjoy this. It just feels very structured and just really well done. So if you like the heritage and the history of Louis Vuitton, then I think the Petite Mal is definitely a piece that you should look into. The attention to detail on this particular piece is really stunning. I'm going to bring you guys up close so we can have a closer look together. It does feel very sturdy and well-made and it just looks really expensive. I mean, it is quite expensive, so it makes sense it better look expensive. The piece that I have here is an epi leather, which is one of the iconic leathers that Louis Vuitton uses. But this bag comes in a variety of colors and leathers and different materials. I think the most popular one is probably the one with the monogram canvas, but that one is obviously made of canvas with the leather trim, whereas this one is made of fully leather and it's also leather lined. But you can pick this up in, as I mentioned, canvas, leather, and even exotic skins. But if you're looking for something a little bit more special, then I would highly recommend that you look into these new monochromatic pieces because they're really something that I have never seen before from Louis Vuitton. And they're also made of epi leather, which is known to be a very durable and sturdy material that I don't think you're really going to have any issues with. What I think we should do next is I'm gonna bring you guys close up so we can see what fits inside one of these petite mile bags. Here we go. So we changed locations and I wanted to quickly show you guys what the bag looks like on the inside and also try how much stuff we can fit into one of these bags because this is my first petite mouse so I have absolutely no idea. So let's see how much of my daily essentials that I usually carry with me fits into one of these bags. I do think that it would fit quite a bit but I guess we'll have to see. In case you have never looked at a petite mouse in person, the way you open it up is that you slide this little button and that releases the fastening up here. 
And then if I remember correctly, there is a magnetic closure that keeps the back together. It certainly is. So there is quite a strong magnet that keeps the back together. And then on the inside, obviously this is the first time that I'm opening up this bag. On the inside, there is a shoulder strap that you can add to the petite ma. All of the petite mas, regardless of what design you buy, comes with a shoulder strap, which I think is a great added feature. And obviously because the hardware on this is matte black, the hardware on the strap is also going to be matte black. On the inside, there's also a little care card, which I think talks about the epi leather, which was used for this bag. Let me see what else. There is also the name of the bag and I assume the barcode. So if you wanna get this exact same bag, perhaps you can take a screenshot of this so you can get the exact same one. And then there is also another little information card about the leather. And this is what the bag looks like. It's just such an incredibly structured, beautiful bag. I mean, if you look at this, it just looks and feels expensive. I mean, it is expensive, but I feel like the price is justified when it comes to one of these bags because you can really see all the craftsmanship and thought and effort that goes into making one of these. And then on the inside, it has a little pocket for, I guess, a card in case you do not want to carry a card holder with you. You can just slide one or two cards in there. So let's see what we can squeeze in here. The first thing that I would want to put in there would obviously be my phone, which is an iPhone. I think this is an 11, 11 Pro, one of those which slides in there just fine. Next, I would probably want to put a card holder in there, but the one that I have been using, I have a feeling would be too wide, which is my Kelly Pocket. And I do think that it might be a little bit too wide because of the twist closure. It doesn't really fit into any of my other bags. So, so, so. Yeah, I feel like I could squeeze it in, but it might scratch or damage the leather on the inside, which, I would rather not do. So I think that I'm going to have to opt for a smaller card holder. So let me go and grab one really quick. Okay, I'm back. So the card holder that I'm going to use is my Goyard that you guys have seen in previous videos of mine, which is a great card holder, especially if you're trying to save space. And then let's put a hand sanitizer in there just to see. Again. It is getting a little bit tight in there and I don't think I would be able to close it. So you might want to play around with different things. I have some wipes here that you can use really wherever you want to, which is obviously going to be just fine. And then the next thing that I would put in there is a lip balm. The one that I'm currently using is from Sol de Janeiro. So obviously if you don't like a lip balm, you can put a lipstick in there or whatever you use on a daily basis. So let me move things around a little bit to see if it would fit and it's very tight already. So what I'm finding about this bag is that it really doesn't fit much, especially because it's so structured that the bag doesn't really give. So you really have to adjust all your things based on the shape of the bag, which is very boxy. But if you play around enough, you can definitely fit quite a bit in there. So what I'm finding is that it fits about the same amount as a Mini Kelly would as a point of reference. So if you watch my Mini Kelly video, or if you do own a Mini Kelly yourself, that should give you an idea of how much you can fit in here or vice versa. If you have this bag, that can help you figure out how much you would be able to fit into a mini Kelly. You can definitely save some space by not putting in an entire card holder in there and just using the built-in pocket for the cards. I think that would save quite a bit of space. And I think that's pretty much everything that would fit a phone, a card holder, some wipes and maybe a lipstick or a lip balm and perhaps your keys, but that's pretty much it. Depending on how much you like to carry, for me, this would be just fine. But if you're more of a maximalist, this might not be the best bag for you to use on a daily basis. But if you want a bag for special occasions, then I think this is a true showstopper. What I have to point out, however, is that it's extremely heavy. Once I have everything in there, it's definitely quite substantial. So if you're someone who is not really used to carrying around heavy bags, then maybe you want to opt for something a little bit lighter. But it is definitely super weighty in case that's a concern for you. And this is it guys, this completes my Louis Vuitton unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.